This is Tony from Deco Network, and today I'm going to show you how to create a customer supplied garment product that you can use uh, when you just want to charge for the decoration and not the product. Uh, oftentimes we have a lot of Deco Network members uh, ask us, um, uh, how can I do this? How can I just charge for the decorations? Uh, I have a customer or many customers that come to me. They already have the garments, so I just need to charge uh, for the decorations. So that's what we're going to do today. So from your admin section, we want to go to products. That's the page I'm on now. And in the top right corner, we're going to click add product and then add custom product. We'll select a def product default if you have that enabled. Uh, I'll name this uh, customer supplied garment. I'll give it code CSG, and then you can choose the amount of colors. I'm just going to choose one. And this is going to create uh, my custom product. Okay, now it's going to ask me for uh, an image for the designer. So uh, I can upload a single image for all colors, separate image. Uh, I can upload a, a custom uh, Photoshop template. Uh, but for now, for this one, I'll just use uh, one of our predefined Deco Network templates. And I'll just choose this t-shirt here. And we need to choose at least one color, so I'll just choose uh, this uh, gray color here. And then I'll click OK. And then I'm going to name the view front here, and then add a decoration area. So we can, uh, uh, we have these predefined decoration areas here, or the back areas. So I'll click body. Okay. So once you place it and everything's good here, uh, you can click OK. And then we'll just go through here and make sure we have everything uh, how we like it. So I'll just fill out a quick description. And if you want to add colors, just come in here and add, add a couple of colors. So um, I'll add this dark green. I'll add white. I'll add red. Okay. And let me go ahead and add a back area too. So I'll add a view. Okay, and then I'm just going to choose uh, the back for a shirt here. So let's see, we'll just choose the back for this shirt here. And we'll call this the back and add a new area. And we already have a predefined one here, so we'll go ahead and click OK. And then I can resize again. Okay, once you're ready, hit click OK. All right, so now you have a front and back view. You can uh, uh, enable or disable uh, your certain decoration processes. Then we'll go to pricing. So I'm just going to leave this at zero because we're not going to charge for the garment or the product. I'm just charging for the decoration. You can come in here to sizing. So this uh, defaults to uh, these certain sizes right here. You can uh, uh, enable or disable these as you like. Uh, if you plan on shipping these, you want to uh, put in some dimensions here. So I'll just put, uh, uh, let's see, put these in there like that. And we'll just fill something out there. Okay. And also, we'll want to set this to be only available on the business hub. So this uh, will not be available on your website. Um, so this is only available to you uh, when you're ready to create these for your customer. So now I'm going to go ahead and click save. Okay, this is giving me a warning that uh, I need to mark that as active before it's going to be available to me. So we'll go ahead and save it, and then we'll go back to it and mark it active. So anything you create or add is going to be on the last page here. So I'm going to come in here, and we'll open this up again. And then we're going to mark it active for sale. Uh, 
Okay, so this orange shading is letting me know that it's only available in my business hub. And now I have this customer supplied garment. So now when uh, my customers come to me uh, and they already have the garments available, I just need to charge for the decorations. I'm all set, I'm good to go. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, should you need any further information on this, uh, just feel free to reach out to the client services team. We'll be glad to help you out. Thanks, take care.